Well, it's great to be back at full strength here at the Big South Conference uh, Leadership Conference uh, this, this summer. Uh, we have nearly 50 student athletes from all of our institutions, including some of our affiliate members, Bryant University, Robert Morris, Mercer University. So to have student athletes from all those schools is tremendous. And to see the student athletes interact from each institution, from the different sports, building those relationships, building friendships that can last uh, out in the future, that's really a lot of fun as well. And of course, there's the, the programming is, is extremely important. To have Sterling uh, Brown and Tim Alexander here, again, to, to talk about their experience and uh, their leadership skills, training, uh, is really valuable for the student athletes. And certainly, I learn a lot from them as well. You know, we talk about leadership throughout the year. We talk about it in, in a lot of different ways. It's a unique focus, I think, when we can really look at it in an environment like this. You know, it's a kind of a retreat environment and how you don't have to be a team captain, you don't have to be the most vocal person to be a leader. Everybody is a leader in their own way and everybody has different skills in that way. So I think it's really important that we you know, focus on that and really bring their attention to the fact that it's really about doing the right thing, having a vision and how you can accomplish doing the right thing and working together to do that. The biggest takeaway was probably just learning how to be better together. That was our main emphasis on the, uh, our guest speakers, Timothy Alexander and Sterling Brown. They did a fantastic job portraying what a leader should be, the characteristics and values that they should have. And they definitely gave me a different perspective and they told me some things I can take back to my campus and that I can use for the rest of my life. I really grew as a leader myself, which then I can take it to lead my team and my, make my team stronger, just as I got stronger this weekend. One of the things that I think was really important for our leadership conference this year is to talk about what's happening nationally. You know, the NCAA is talking about transforming Division I. What does that mean? It's also talking as part of that, what is the student athlete role, what is the student athlete experience, and how important it is that we're ensuring that Division I student athletes are receiving the benefits they should be receiving. So, and, you know, part of this for us is to understand from our student athletes what that is and what that means. How can we better serve them? And so we had a session talking about transformation of the NCAA, talking about this national conversation, and it was great to get feedback from them on what do they think they should be getting more from their experience as a Division I student athlete in the Big South. And that feedback will help us as we then turn around and visit with our institutions, our leadership, and our presidents and our directors of athletics about our role in this new transformed NCAA. So um, that's been a really valuable experience, really helpful for me to hear what's important to our student athletes. And moving forward, the voice of the student athlete is gonna be really important um, talking about these things and being involved in developing policy both conference-wise and nationally. So, so the goal around this session and, and, and really the weekend in general is to get that feedback and have that interaction with our student athletes and hear directly from them. Of course, there's a lot of conversation around mental health. And that's no surprise that mental health is a, a real need on our campuses for our student athletes. What was a little surprising for me is the magnitude of that, of that need. We, we certainly understood that there was a need to provide the provide the services around mental health, but the number of student athletes that are interested in that, uh, that service, that opportunity, or even understanding that there is an opportunity to speak with somebody on their campuses uh, was really eye-opening for me, I think. Uh, so that's an area that's really significant. Uh, I think the other uh, topics are around nutrition, being able to provide nutrition at the appropriate times and appropriate amounts on campus uh, was really interesting to hear from our student athletes. And then, of course, you know, other support around uh, what we can do to help them once they're through at their, at their campuses as a student athlete. What, uh, what kind of mentorship can we provide? What kind of career opportunities and career uh, learnings can we provide to them? once their uh, career as a student athlete is over. So those are areas that we heard loud and clear from our student athletes and areas that I think that we're gonna be begin to focus a lot more, both in the conference and on our campuses. It really makes me feel like my voice is heard, um, especially coming from a small school like PC. Uh, not a lot of people really think about us, but you know, being able to come to this conference and having our voices heard and speaking up on different matters like NIL and the transfer portal, it really means a lot to me.
A lot of times we feel like we're overlooked as student athletes and you know it's all up to the ADs and stuff like that so to hear that someone really cares about us that much to sit down and talk to us um, you know see where I, our head is at with a lot of things it really means a lot that um, you know they care about us that much and it goes directly to who needs to hear it the most so it's, it's great it was a wonderful opportunity. You know in a conference office you're not around your student athletes on a daily basis like you are on campus. So this is one of those opportunities where we have, and, and there's not many of those, to be able to get that direct feedback from our student athletes. That's one of the reasons I really look forward to this weekend is because we have that direct one-on-one -on -one conversation. And hopefully we're developing a culture and an environment where they're feeling comfortable with sharing what's on their minds with conference leadership, without the ADs being in the rooms, without coaches being in the rooms and really understand and get that feedback directly from them. So that helps us a lot in what we're trying to do throughout the rest of the year.